All right, good evening, everyone. It is um, our lovely Wednesday night um, meeting. And for those of you who don't know me, my name is Dr. Melody Rodarty. I'm a physician in Arizona. Uh, I practice internal medicine, obesity medicine, which is a fancy word for uh, weight loss medicine. Um, and I'm also certified in wound care and hyperbaric medicine. Um, and medical aesthetics. And it's all fancy to say I like to take care of the whole patient. Tonight um, is gonna be a little bit different for me. And so I say, I'm gonna ask you to give me a little, um, little grace um, is what I like to call it because I don't wanna do it as a typical webinar. Um, there's been a lot I feel that has been on my heart um, and uh, it's important because I want us to be talking more about health and wellness instead of just disease. And so those of you who um, know my story, I'm going to kind of open it up and up a little bit more uh, tonight because of what is on my heart. My heart has been helping people stay healthy and become a host that a virus does not want to infect these days. Um, and in the past four months, that has been a very big topic uh, for me and for many of us because most of us who are on this webinar want to stay healthy, want to know how to stay healthy. And unfortunately, in the past three weeks, um, it had COVID-19 has visited our house. My husband has uh, ha ended up getting uh, sick and I had to throw everything together to figure out what we were going to do to keep him healthy and out of the hospital. And so what is really on my heart tonight is to share how you can prep your body to stay healthy for the rest of your life. What are things that you can do? What are things that I have my family on? what um you know so many of us don't know about some of the products that are out there and so i want to know how we can protect our health how we can treat illness and my hope is that you learn how to activate your body that is the biggest uh, uh gift i can give you to how to activate your body um and hopefully later on if i recorded this correctly you can share it with other people because that has been my goal for my whole life I wanted to become a physician so I could help others stay healthy and out of the doctor's office. And um, that led me on my journey. As I went into medical school, I chose the path of becoming a DO, a doctor of osteopathic medicine, because I wanted to integrate both Eastern and Western medicine. That was important to me. As I entered in uh, residency, I chose internal medicine because I wanted to walk through the life lives with families. Um, to tell you honestly, children scared me. I didn't want to do pediatrics. <laughs> I wanted to be an adult doctor because I wanted to have a conversation with my patients to educate them, to tell them how we could team together to keep them healthy and to protect them from diseases that were in their family lineage. As I went into residency, I'm going to tell you, I had my first taste of empathy as I decided to get pregnant. And um, we, we were blessed with twins, but I ended up on bed rest during that time. And I had an incredible Chinese nurse that was so worried about taking care of me because I happened to be uh, a resident in that hospital. And every night I was so happy when she came, uh, she was my nurse because she helped me get through some of the side effects of medications I was on with oils and just meditation and all kinds of stuff. That was one of my, my first inklings of, of course, um, I had some of it in childhood with my, with my parents, but really just kind of being a patient at that time during my pregnancy, as well as being a, you know, brand new physician. Um, I went into wound care next and had to learn the importance of nutrition and how high dose antioxidants could actually be harmful instead of helpful, um, if not done correctly. And then I got into private practice and unfortunately, um, with, within my first few years, my mom was diagnosed with breast cancer twice in her 50s, and there were no other uh, cancers in her lineage. And it just got me to thinking even more about 
What can I do to protect my genes and my family's genes? What are things that I can do for my patients to further help them as well? And my son ended up getting an autoimmune condition called alopecia. And it just rocked our world because when it's your child that's ill, you will do anything in your power. Not to say I didn't want to do everything in my power for my mom or other patients or family members, but it was my son that it was just, it, I didn't like that feeling of helplessness and that I was doing everything possible at that time to know how can I prevent him from side effects of medications and treatments because he unfortunately looked like a little cancer boy during some of the, the treatments. And I was doing everything from making his food to um, nutrition. I had done wound care and I just didn't know what else, what, what else was the route that I needed to get to. And so this is where I'm coming from tonight is I wanna just, I wanted you guys to know some of my journey because that is why I'm so passionate. And that's why I'm asking for grace because usually when I do these lectures, so many of you on here have probably heard me, uh, it's, I'm a little OCD, I'm polished, it comes out, but it's not gonna be as polished tonight because it's been um, a rough three weeks, I'm not gonna lie, because I wanted to know exactly what to do to help my husband out. So I'm gonna be sharing my screen right now. I'm gonna go through uh, some of this because I think visualizing is so helpful. So hopefully you can, uh, you'll be able to see my screen here as we get started. So. I wanted to learn how to activate my body and that's what I'm going to kind of talk to you about right now. We want to begin activating our bodies. We want to um, treat the root cause of disease and not even allow disease to set in, not allow that aging process to start happening. And so what is oxidative stress? It is the root cause of disease and it is the release of free radicals. It's the aging process that increases oxidative stress. And when we can't put out that fire, that's when certain illnesses can step in because a tissue is damaged and when it can't heal, depending on where it's at in the body, you're gonna see on this, you know, on the right hand side, it can affect any organ of your body and how your genes are expressed, how my genes are expressed, are gonna, be, are gonna look differently. But all of us, if we go all the way back down, we all have root, uh, the root cause of oxidative stress and we want to reduce it because as we age, it does increase. And so in the past, all we knew about was antioxidants to reduce oxidative stress. But I'm here to tell you there's more than just taking antioxidants. And so other causes of root, uh, and other than aging that can cause oxidative stress are, are diets, smoking, medications, pollution, inactivity, alcohol, toxins, pesticides, exercise, wireless signals. Why should you care? Because we are honestly exposed to anything on this list from a daily, uh, on a daily, hourly, minute by minute. And what can we do to reduce the oxidative stress, the toxins, the things that can increase um, the issues that we see in our bodies? And so I'm going to bring it back down to what happened. Oh, I apologize with that. I didn't know it was going to start just yet. I'm going to bring it back down to when I was searching for something for my son. I will tell you that as I was doing everything, a colleague of mine wanted me to watch an ABC primetime investigative report because um, they had found something to help them out. And so, yes, it's about six minutes long. I want you guys to watch it because it's where my story began for this chapter. And I think who doesn't like listening to John Quinones, um, especially when he goes in to do an investigative report. So I'm gonna catch up with you in about six minutes because I want to show this to you and then we'll pick it up from there. You wanna get an edge on turning back the clock? Who doesn't? Well, it's no longer science fiction, but science possibility, a potential breakthrough. It may not look like the fountain of youth, but inside this nondescript building, I'm about to become part of an exciting experiment. 
For me, it begins with a blood test. It wouldn't be the first time I've given blood for this company. <laughs> they want to check my levels of something called T-bars, which is a rough indicator of a person's actual age. T-bars can identify a condition known as oxidative stress, a kind of measure of the wear and tear on our bodies. Oxidative stress, like the rusting of an engine, is not a good thing. The problem of aging begins with the very food we eat to give us energy. As our cells burn that food, they also release toxic chemicals. Those chemicals, you may know them as free radicals, react with all the components of our cells, literally bombarding them millions of times per second, damaging all our cells. So the result, oxidative stress, and we all have it. The body fights back with a system of defenses. It makes two antioxidant enzymes, catalase and SOD, whose job is to gobble up the free radicals before they can harm our cells. So, Dr. How often do I take these? And so, here I go. With that swallow, I've just become part of a potentially landmark scientific experiment. It's called protandum, and tests have already shown that it revs up the manufacture of those good enzymes in our bodies. More enzymes, fewer free radicals to harm us. Normally, oxidative stress, measured by those T-bars, increases with age, but taking just one pill of protandum a day reversed that trend for everyone at every age even for an 80-year-old. So just what's in this seemingly incredible pill? Well, actually, its roots are very humble. Protandum is a combination of five plant ingredients. Some you may know, green tea or turmeric, a spice used in Indian cooking. Others, with Thania somnifera and Silibum marianum, are more exotic. High oxidative stress is associated with more than aging. It's been linked to hundreds of illnesses. It's at the very center of many diseases. Liver disease, diabetes, emphysema, asthma, all of these, strokes, heart attacks. Even mental disease. Yes. Depression, Alzheimer's disease, depression. But what about my progress? After nearly two weeks now, it's time to get my results. The result, my level of oxidative stress has declined dramatically. Just look at where I fall on the graph before and after. Have we turned back the clock? Maybe not on the outside, but deep inside within my cells. Yes, indeed. We do know that oxidative stress is part of those disease processes. And I don't want to wait until I'm 80 years old and find out that I should have taken it. The company that makes Protandum says its tests show the pill made from ingredients used for centuries is absolutely safe. For more, go to our website at abcnews.com. So after that aired, and uh, you know, uh, actually, I'll just skip that part, and I'll tell you after I watched it, I thought to myself, if this is true, I'm ecstatic, but I'm not going to let it show on my face because I wanted so badly for this to really do what it said it did. I wanted it to reduce oxidative stress because I knew that my son had oxidative stress as a root cause of his autoimmune condition. I knew that oxidative stress was at the root cause of so many things that I was seeing in my family and in my patients. And what I wanted to do is go to a, um, a website called pubmed.gov, and that's exactly what I did. And I typed in five and a half years ago, Pro Tandem, and there were 16 peer reviewed articles for me to look at, and my jaw dropped and I thought, I must start reading these because I can't believe that these are here. And PubMed is put on by the National Institute of Health. It's where all peer-reviewed journal articles are. No matter where you are in the world, you can type in pubmed.gov tonight, and you can type in ProTandem, and you can do your own research. And what you're going to notice is there are over 25 peer-reviewed journal articles now, and they are uh, in multiple different journals, and they're on by multiple different universities. So it's not just done by this company, and it's, it was done by multiple universities that saw that actually some studies were getting started back in 2003 but after this aired in 2005 
they actually called the company and said, can we use ProTandem in our uh, studies? And so that caught my eye. That is why I'm so passionate because I have multiple universities doing research that I can talk about this product and how it can reduce oxidative stress. So what is in ProTandem again? It's a combination of five herbal ingredients, milk thistle, bacopa, ashwagandha, green tea, turmeric, we are turning on a pathway called the NRF2 pathway. This is a pathway you want to activate. This is a pathway you extremely want to activate right now because it is the best way of reducing oxidative stress by telling your body to release its own antioxidants that are better than anything that you can ingest or put through an IV. And so you can see on the right hand side that by taking ProTandem NRF2, we can lower oxidative stress by an average of 40% in 30 days and up to 70% with continued use. We can state that because of the human study and the FDA allows us to make that statement. We are increasing a superoxide dismutase by 30% an incredible antioxidant. Some of the other antioxidants our body can make are catalase and glutathione. You guys, today, tonight, type in glutathione. It is one of the most incredible antioxidants and it's very difficult to increase this orally or even by IV. And the fact that our body produces it and we can activate it is incredible because we wanna support our body's natural ability to repair and rejuvenate ourselves. We want to support our body's own natural way of detoxifying. That happens on a daily basis. Our liver is incredible. It has phase one and phase two detoxification systems in place. And if we allow it to do its job, it, it's just incredible. And so what we want to do is neutralize free radicals because free radicals lead to oxidative stress. Oxidative stress we know now can uh, cause disease. So here is a good visual I want you to kind of just think of. What we knew about in the past where you ate a blueberry, you ate your vitamin C, you took a vitamin C, you, you drank resveratrol that might be in, a, in wine. What you're doing is you're only neutralizing one free radical at a time. It's a one and one ratio, one and done. When you activate the NRF2 pathway, like using ProTandem, you are releasing a million antioxidants that your body produces, like glutathione and catalase and SOD, and they are, are neutralizing a million free radicals at a time. That's the difference between supplementing and activating. That's the word I want you to learn if you haven't kind of caught my drift today. How do you activate your body? Because unfortunately right now people are looking for band-aids and we want to stop putting band-aids on things. We want to encourage our body and activate our body to become its best self. And so ProTandem, again, reduces oxidative stress by 40% in 30 days. And it didn't matter if it was in a 20-year-old who was taking it or an 80-year-old. Across the board, we see it start reducing oxidative stress. This is what Washington State University um, states. And I love this. I had to put this up there. You can see under review, it says, NRF2 of master regulator of detoxification and also antioxidant, anti-inflammatory and other cytoprotective mechanisms. It is an incredible pathway that can be therapeutic and preventative. We have incredible cells that we have to activate, you guys. And so I talked about NRF2 activation. I wanna just talk about a few other ways that you can activate um, cells in your body, pathways in your bodies that are incredible. The next one is mitochondria. All you might remember about mitochondria is drawing a circle with another circle inside and a squiggly line. And you remembered from junior high, it made ATP and that's it. <laughs> well, it's more than that. Our mitochondria is, is just the powerhouse of the cell and it protects our gene expression, our genome. And so we in medicine, are really realizing that you have to keep your mitochondria healthy. It's a must. And so you can see here the solution, the body is constantly fixing or removing damaged mitochondria and producing new mitochondria in a process called mitochondrial biogenesis. Important. That could be another thing you'd look up tonight. We want healthy mitochondria. 
And one of the ways that we can do it is activating an NRF1 pathway. So I apologize, we learned about NRF2 first and I told you about NRF2 and NRF1 came afterwards, it's our mitochondria. We need to help out. And so it's another five um, herbal blend, acetylcarnitine, quercetin. That's really big right now, you guys. Look up quercetin, grape seed extract, alpha lipoic acid, coenzyme Q10. When you blend these together, they are more potent than by themselves. Same with Protanum NRF2. You are getting a, just an exponential. It's not one plus one is two. It's one plus one is just exponential. Um, that's the key part here. We are increasing ATP um, while slowing cellular aging and supporting chromosomal integrity. We are improving sleep quality and cell repair those of you know, healthy sleep leads to healthy cell repair. We must sleep. Um, and we want to support cognitive and brain health and our circulatory system and our cardiovascular system. I wanted to show you, I didn't mention it on the other slides. If you see the two seals of approval down there, BSCG stands for Banned Substance Control Group. This is an incredibly difficult seal to get on because we don't want our athletes doping. We want, don't want them on anything that can give them the edge. And so there are only about 40 items on this list and we happen to have those seals of approval. The NSF is just saying what is on the label is in, in the bottle. I'm gonna take a break and just tell you the importance on that. All of us are looking for ways to stay healthy right now. Going to Costco, going to GNC, going to Walmart, you are not gonna be getting sometimes the product that you want. So you want to look for these seals of approval. You want to know their manufacturing processes. You wanna know that a third party is coming in and looking and, and double checking that you're getting a pure product. I know for me as a physician, I want to know that because if I'm going to recommend somebody to take something, I want to know that it's not just 21% of the pure product and there might be dirt in it. And that was one of the reports that came out in the New York Times. Um, so that was my sidebar. All right, let me move on here. And then the third theory of aging that I want to tackle because it is also important for us to stay healthy is our sirtuins. They are longevity genes. They are the CEOs of our cells telling our cells what to do. And so the issue you can see here is as the body runs, it, it cells create waste that can back up and slow the cell if not removed. Sirtuins are responsible for this removal, a process called autophagy autophagy. This process is responsible for a myriad of health benefits from mental and physical energy to motivation, mood, cardiovascular health, maintaining cholesterol levels, joint health, healthy DNA function, a healthy inflammation response, and more. You guys, we want a healthy inflammatory response. When there's a small amount of inflammation, our body knows where to go and to fix it, to call whatever, you know, police department, fire department, whatever needs to come and show up to put out the fire. That's important. But when we can't put it out and it goes un, um, uncontrolled, that's when a problem happens. And so our body needs to activate, again, there's that word, our sirtuins to help with this. And so this is our pro tandem NAD synergizer. So. NAD is what is needed to increase sirtuin activity, okay? So this is four different herbals that you're seeing here. Tea cream, wasabi um, extract, cuprous nicotine, and olive leaf extract. Try saying all those really fast when you've got a dry mouth from being so happy to talk to you all. And so what we're really doing is we're supporting healthy longevity. We're helping our mood and focus. Who doesn't need that right now? Um, especially helping our body with an, a natural inflammatory response that I just talked about. We want healthy cholesterol levels. We need healthy cholesterol levels. That's how hormones are made. We need a good lipid layer. You know, that's the, that's the, the area around the cell and it's allowing communication to go in and out. We need good cholesterols. Cholesterol is not all bad. And of course we want a good vascular system. And so this is the, um, what's called a tri-synergizer, NRF2, NAD, and NRF1, okay? These are all 
activators. And these are non-GMO, no artificial colors or sweeteners. Um, that is the incredible part of, of using these products together. This is called the Tri Synergizer. And so I like this because on the bottom, for those of you who are geeky science um, people like me, you're gonna see some of the names of some of the genes that we want to activate. And all of you who don't, all you need to see is the difference between the gray line and the blue line. And that's just showing when you use a product by itself activating, or if you're using it together, um, how much more activation can happen uh, for the cell. And these are genes that we want to increase its activity because they're going to go in and they're going to uh, reduce oxidative stress. They're going to help our mitochondria stay healthy. They're going to help promote sirtuin activity. And so before I kind of finish up, I want to talk about something else tonight. And that is a probiotic. If you are not taking a probiotic right now, I want you to listen up. And if you are, I want you to listen up because I want you to compare what you're taking to what I'm going to be presenting. We need probiotics to digest our food, synthesize our vitamins, to absorb our nutrients, to help our immune system. 80% of our immune system starts in our gut, you guys. So many people don't know that. And in this world where there's lots of antibiotics and poor soil, we need to put probiotics back in so that we can have a healthy immune system. And then last but not least for sure is our gut is our second brain. It is releasing dopamine and serotonin. And so think about it. Don't you think that those are important? Otherwise, what, you know, that stress, when you get butterflies in your stomach and you get nervous, that's because it's your second brain. It's trying to figure out what hormone do I need to release right now to message up to the brain to what's going on. So we want a healthy microbiome. We have a product that has biotech technology. It is patented and it's an incredible system because over 60% of the probiotic is making it through the stomach acid and into the small and large intestine where it needs to go. That's why I was wanting you to pay attention. Depending on what probiotic you're on right now, I want you to look up how much is surviving, what, how is it deposited. So ours is able to dissolve by the pH it is, in, it is encountering to lay down four different strains of lactobacillus and two different strains of bifidiobacterium. Those are incredible strains to help our gut. And so that is the biggest difference with when you look for something that has biotech technology. The other item it has in it is Wellmune, very well studied. Those of you who I, I'm speaking to that are sciencey, go to PubMed, type in Wellmune. There are 12 studies for you to look at. Actually, I think there's 13 now. And so we want to have tight junctions. What's happening inside of our colon, we don't want to get through our cells or between our cells into our bloodstream and into our body unless our cell says, yes, you may cross. And that's what's happening. When you have tight junctions, when you get rid of a leaky gut, you are, you're, you're just so much more healthy. And so that is why I'm incredibly, incredibly passionate about our, our probiotic because I've been able to see so much change in people when they have a healthy gut, when we treat a healthy gut. And right now we really do need a healthy gut and a healthy immune system. And so these are, are the pillars I wanted to talk about tonight. They were incredibly important to me to tell you because unfortunately I feel right now um, we are not talking about health. We are not talking about how to stay healthy. If you're on this webinar, I'm gonna say you are not the norm and I love it because I'm looking for people who are passionate because when we're passionate and we know how to help ourselves stay healthy and out of the doctor's office, we tend to share. And so for those of you who love to share, I will tell you, we are looking for people who want to share this as well. Why are you listening to me tonight on a webinar? Well, because I've decided to team up with this company to present these products because I am incredibly passionate for one, what they've done for my family, two, what I've seen them done for my patients, um, and three, it is an opportunity for me to speak to others that I might not necessarily get to because honestly, I'm so thankful that I've gotten to open my own practice this year. 
But guess what? I've gone from seeing 30, 35, up to 40 people a day to maybe 10, 15. So that means I get to spend more time teaching and that is incredible. But that, might, that means I'm not seeing as many people that I might be able to touch. So when I get to do webinars like this, I'm getting to, to share my knowledge and my passion with others. And then they get to share with others and they share with others. And by doing that, we can make changes. I want people to be talking about that because a lot of people right now are scared. They're scared. They don't know how to help their immune system, how to reduce stress because they know inflammation is not always good. They want to know how can they have better sleep. And I want to say that I have items and products that I can talk about that have science behind them. Um, it's not just me making this stuff up. I can send someone to PubMed and let them read about the science here. So I appreciate your time. Whoever invited you to this webinar, can you please get back to them and tell them what interested you about these, um, any of these products and how you might be able to share this with someone else because that is the best gift that we can give others is the gift of health. And I will tell you this um, company being a part of it has given me some of my bestest friends that have helped me, I'm gonna choke up, have helped me with my husband's health this month. And that in itself is worth it. So I thank you for letting me be on here tonight to tell you about these products to tell you about my journey because it's important to me. And so I get to feel a little special tonight sharing that with you. And there are so many ways of keeping yourself healthy. Reach out to a practitioner and ask them what are things that you can be doing. You don't need to be just socially distancing and being afraid. There are so many things that you can do to activate your body to live its best life, okay? With that, blessings. Thank you, and uh, I hope you have a beautiful night. Bye.